down to a handful of seats in the Knesset, it's utterly, utterly disastrous for them. Uh, Baron, I mean, what, uh, shifting uneasily and a couple of grunts during a couple of the things that, that Jonathan was saying, where does this election result leave Palestinians and indeed response from the Arab world wider? First, when uh, Donald Trump, the leader of the biggest power on earth, is working for you as your election director or campaign director, when actually you are supported by the extremist right-wing population, I think it is easy to win this election. What will happen, you know, I believe Benjamin Netanyahu is more dangerous to the Israeli themselves than the Palestinians, to be honest, because now he is actually going to destroy the image of Israel as the only democracy uh, in the Middle East to a apartheid state. You know, this is, this is what will happen when he actually... What do you mean by an apartheid state? Ap apartheid state, when he actually endorsed and he said he will implement the nation-state laws which actually consider Israel as a state of the Jews only. And anybody who is non-Jew, he wouldn't have a place in this state. That's what he said. No, no, it, 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 it justifies Israel as no. a nation state of, Juda of Jews, but it doesn't absolutely say that other minorities That's what in he said. That's what he said. He said it's 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 it is brilliant it's and it is documented. He said Israel is a state of the Jews. Non-Jews, they are not actually citizens of this state. And it is, it, it, it is, it is written and it is... Sorry, Mr. Akbar, it's nonsense. It, go, no, to the, no, go to the, go to the economist. Is the economist lying? Read the law itself. Yes. He yes. never says yes. that non-Jewish yes. members of the Israeli population yes. are citizens. He has promised the two never said that. Nobody next says that. Yes. Yes. So should, we, should we just accept that there are non-Jewish citizens of the state of Israel? There are 20% yes. of the population that of Israel, not only people who just voted in elections, in the, and the, just the, voted the, in, in Israel, 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 Israel without, uh, without the, occup the occupied West Bank or Jerusalem or uh, Gaza Strip, 20% of its citizens are Palestinian Arabs, Christian so, and Muslim. He hasn't said that those people are not citizens. Of course he hasn't. Sorry? He put he in place a 15 said that. billion yes, dollar he did. in 2006 he said to that. prove Arab I, I can, I can prove Arab it to you now. Now, when we, when we go to the Google, and I show you what he said exactly. This is what did. Second thing, he is going to annex the West Bank. So this, and this, is, this is something that we can... Can we just check that we can agree... Well, we cannot agree on, on, on that, on the assertion about um, those citizens of the State of Israel who are not Jews. We cannot agree that he... Has, I, mean, I don't think Jonathan is agreeing that he said... That he doesn't are. agree, but, you know, but it is but documented. Let's leave this it is side, document, yeah. but, but I think what, what, what we can agree on mm -hmm. is that Benjamin Netanyahu has pledged to annex... What he, said during the, the yes, what he said during the election campaign, and I, I urge most people to take with a pinch of salt what politicians say two days before an election, but he said it, and he stood by it when asked about it again, was that he would like to impose Jewish law in the Jewish settlements in Judea and Samaria or the West Bank such as Malay Adunim, places like that, which have always, in every peace plan, actually been assumed to remain under Israeli rule, whether or not they'd be in return for land swaps or the like. He was saying he wouldn't justify the forced removal of those, of those towns or people. Now, that is very controversial, because obviously it upsets people who want to see a like-for-like -like land swap, certain borders that they want, but we're talking about effectively 2% of the West Bank area in which Jews live, and that's something that will, potentially in the Trump plan, He'll be forced to compromise on that. He may be given that by Trump. We don't know. But it's certainly what's necessary in order to deal with those sorts of things is negotiations. And for rather a long time, including with Trump, the Palestinian Authority has refused to even discuss with the Trump uh, White House what they would like. They've said no. The Palestinians are possibly okay, can we, can we the only national about, uh, independence uh, body uh, that has said Israel, no to its own state it so many times. Uh, so, so. Uh, so, Jonathan, I think you, if you can stop there, Barry, I, sure. I, want, I want to hear that what the Palestinian response is and the Arab world response is to the re-election of Netanyahu. First, you know, this nation-state law, it is written and it is there and it is documented. It means Israel is a state of okay, Just what? Yeah. Second thing, Benjamin Netanyahu is going to annex the West Bank. <laughs> What it means, or the major city or major areas of the West Bank, which is land, which which is you know area C, it means the death of 
uh, two-state solution. It means there, is, there wouldn't be any state for the Palestinian. The Palestinian and the international community recognize this solution, the two-state solution. Netanyahu is saying now, I don't want so, this. So, so we can't never recognize it. What, what are the Palestinians going to do about it? What are parts of the Arab world going to do about it? The Palestinians, they don't have a nuclear warheads. They don't have 300 nuclear warheads like the Netanyahu and the Israeli first. Second, they don't have one of the fourth biggest army on earth. They don't have the support of the international community, I mean, and the United States, the biggest superpower on earth. So what do you expect the Palestinians to do? The Palestinians should be helped by the international community, by the, the, the European by the American to say to the Israeli, enough is enough. You know, you are killing a two-state solution which is recognized by everybody on earth. You are establishing so, okay. a racial state, a uh, apartheid so, state so in, in Israel. The international community do so. What is the Arab region doing right now in response to the Israeli election? The Arab region, okay, maybe um, Benjamin Netanyahu managed to go to Oman there and he was well received, but, you know, Oman is two million. And the, the Arabs, 400 million. So we cannot say he is actually winning the Arabs to his side. That now there is a huge changes on the Arab world. There is revolution, uh, popular revolution in Algeria, popular, popular revolution in, in, in Sudan. There is other one in Yemen. So the Middle East is changing. Now, Netanyahu is, is you know, re creating or re-actually establishing or re-encouraging radi radicalism in the Arab world. In the, that's, the whole that's, the, that's the danger. That's the danger. This is the danger. We, 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 don't, we, we, don't, we don't usually uh, agree on these questions, but I, I think that the election result, which actually has had very little...